Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are tuning in from this evening and watching this video. This is Fanta. Thank you so much for tuning in and happy Friday. Where I am at, it is Friday. I don't know where you're, you're at currently. Um, I just wanted to just come in here and just share quickly uh, like what is going on right now in the world. Like, I don't get it. These jobs and their salary the jobs and their starting salary you let me know because for me it's not adding up it is not adding up especially somebody with a family it's not adding up how am i supposed to take care of myself and my children with fifteen dollars an hour hmm? can somebody explain that to me because i don't i don't get it like i don't i don't understand it i don't for me it's not it doesn't make sense like i did I did the numbers, I added the numbers, I, it just, it's not, it doesn't make sense. Especially since, like, you're not exactly making 15 or whatever it may be. Um, you're not making that amount. Because when taxes are taken off, you probably make, like, 13. And if you're lucky enough to get in a position where you're making maybe, like, 20, you're making, like, 17. So you're never really making the amount that you're starting off at. And that amount that, with the taxes taken off, is what you're going that's your net so that's the amount that you're going to be working with and paying your bills and for me it's just it just is not adding up you know I recently you know I quit my job I quit my job and I didn't have a backup I quit my job I didn't have a backup and I just I had to like I really had to just for my well-being for like my spirituality I had to leave like i had to leave i should have left sooner i had to go like i really had to go i had a little bit of savings a little bit of cushion there to take me over maybe one or two months but that's 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 going fast obviously that's going fast because i have you know expenses and I, like i said i have a family to take care of but for me i'm not going to stay in a job where i'm physically not just like oh i'm tired of it i don't want to do it. no i was physically getting sick i was getting sick i was losing like i'm already slim but I was losing weight rapidly. Like I wouldn't eat, like I stopped eating. Like I, I lost my appetite. Like I got so sick and just being in that environment, I lost my appetite. I stopped eating. I wouldn't, like I would take my lunches at work and then I wouldn't, I wouldn't eat. Like I was just, like I couldn't, I physically could not eat. Like I stopped eating. I had headaches and then eventually it got so bad where I would be parked in the parking lot and i would feel like i had to throw up and then when i would go in i would feel like i had to throw up like it was that it was affecting my spirit that badly and i think it started because for me i love going to church like i love going to church on sunday especially on sundays you know i love going to church on sundays and then when when dad was slowing down and then eventually like it, it stopped uh-uh mm, mm, mm. god was not happy God wasn't happy, and I was not happy. And when God not happy, you're not happy. Point blank, period. Okay? So God wasn't happy, and in return, I was not happy. Like, I was not happy. I was constantly, constantly very upset every time I went in on Sunday. I was just in the worst mood. It is not, that's not me. Like, I you know I deal with, like, things personally in my life, but I, when I'm at work, I try to be as bubbly as I can, as friendly as I can, knowing that i'm going through like personal life situations like i don't bring i don't i try not to bring that into work but that wasn't the case every sunday i would go in i would just be like no i'm like no it's mm -mm. i'll be like i would be it's not even like upset i'll be angry <laughs> like like angry like angry like i'll be just angry like i would not want to speak to anybody and i don't want to do that like that's not mm -mm. i don't want to be that person i'm not that person so i just like with that going on week after week and then month after month and i'm just like no i cannot do this i just can't i have to be in church i just i just cannot like i just can't so eventually um i started calling out you know, it's it's really bad because I'm the type of person I don't like doing that. And I don't want to do that because if I'm in a position where somebody else was calling out 
and I have to take their load, I'm not gonna be happy. So I don't like doing that to anybody. So I was consist I was constantly calling out and I was when I'm there, I'm not there. Like when I'm there, I I don't wanna be there. You know, I'm not giving it a thousand percent and that's not that's definitely not me. I believe in hard work, you know, being somebody who's from West Africa, hard work is is what I know, you know, especially seeing my uncles and my aunts build their own business out of nothing so for me hard work is definitely a must okay a must in my life and i have no problem working you know so me going in and not not doing that it took a toll it took a toll on me and it was just i wasn't happy you know i wasn't happy I, I wasn't I just wasn't happy so for me and my well-being and especially spiritually I I gave my two week notice it wasn't more like a two week which is so bad it was like it's so terrible it wasn't even a two weeks it was more of like a a one day notice like <laughs> literally because I see I had called out previously right I had called out previously and I was still within that call out you know so and then my manager texted me and saying like you know he called me and i figured i'm like okay you calling me because it is not 8 30 and you realize that i am not at work so you're calling me probably to see where i'm at and why is that it you i know you got the email with my call out that i had had done two days in advance so there's no reason why you should be you know <laughs> at 8 30 there's the reason why you should be contacting me so after that happened i'm just like mm. I'm, so obviously now i'm wasting my time and i'm wasting the company's time and i don't want to do that so i just went ahead and just sent typed up a little letter of recognition and i and i texted to him you know the, i tapped i did as an attachment i didn't just like forgive me for the noise this window right here is directly to a main street. So you're going to hear trucks, everything. So I apologize. But yeah, so after that, I sent him that attachment and saying that as of this date. Yeah. <laughs> so it's really bad because it wasn't it wasn't really because a two week notice. Like you, you give you two weeks and then you complete those two weeks and then you exit, you know. But me, it wasn't. It was, it was a one day notice. And I just... I just had enough. I just had to go. But so I'm just here now, just searching, you know, these job interviews that I'm going on. You know, people want to pay $13. $13. People want to start your salary off on $13. Like, what am I going to do with $13? Again, with taxes taken out, I'm making like $9. Maybe $9.50 net wise that's what i'm that's what i'm making what what bill am i gonna pay with that hmm like that like that that's it it's not gonna work that doesn't work and it's not gonna work so that's where i'm at right now because jobs are out there but they don't want to pay but they're looking like you need people but you don't want to pay them what they're worth and i'm a type of person yeah right now i need a job like three months ago like i need a job desperately but i'm not going to put limitation on god because i know god can do more for me than 13 dollars, 15 dollars, or whatever you know especially with expenses that i have and me being to a mother i can't i can't do that like i can't live off on that that's just it's not realistic for me to do that you know it's not like i'm a single person with no expenses no i am a single person but I have expenses, so I just need to just, yeah, mm -mm. yeah. I need I need these salaries to be a little bit higher, to just make sense. Especially with my education, I know I don't have a bachelor's, but I have more than a high school diploma. You know, I have my associates. You know, and I'm working towards a bachelor, but I can't work towards a bachelor with no money, because I'm I don't want to be in like an extensive amount of student debt. I'm not doing that. So I just need, I need a salary that makes sense. That makes sense, you know, that I can like, okay, I can pay my bills, at least pay my bills. You know, I don't have to do none of like 
like I don't even go out and eat and do all that. I don't, I don't got time for that. Like I said, I have kids. I'm a mother, so I don't have time for that. Anyways, um, I'm not foolish with my money. Um, I'm, I don't think I am. Um, I spend my money on things that I need, that my children need. So for me, these starting salaries are not adding up, and they're not, they're not cutting it. They're not they're just not cutting it. So you let me know. I mean, what's going on in your state? Like, how are the salary in your state? Because right here in PA, that's not it. That's not it. Because it was one job posting a sword. Like, the re the requirements was a bachelor's degree, like, two, four years of experience, right? Which is fine. Okay, two, four years of experience, yada, yada, yada. And then, guess what the salary rate was for that? It was, like, between... 13 to 19 dollars an hour i'm like <laughs> here this person is with a bachelor's degree probably has an extensive amount of student loan debt and you want to have a <laughs> excuse me you want to have a salary range between 13 and 19 dollars it's not had enough it's not adding up. Maybe it's just me. You let me know. Is it just me? Because to me, it's not. It's just not adding up. Anyway, I just I just wanted to come on here and just give that little spill because I just had another interview. Oh, thank thank God for that. I had another interview, and I just there was mm, there was two questions in the interview that I just felt like mm -mm. that just made me feel like maybe I didn't get that interview. <laughs> maybe i didn't maybe i'm not gonna get this job offer but i don't know you know i just I, I leave it in the hands of god i'm like god if it's for me it's gonna be for me no matter what and that's that but just me answering those questions i was just like Ooh. even for myself i was like Ooh. <laughs> i don't think i answered that how do you want me to answer that you know i mean one of the questions i was brutally like i was honest i was just like I was honest. I was being. I, I was literally being myself. Cause sometimes some of the questions that you answer in interviews, you kind of have to answer it in a way that they want you to answer it. Like in a way, like you know, they want it, things that they want to hear. This one questions. No, I put like I put God first. Like because mm -mm. <laughs> I'm not gonna say what it is, but I was just like, mm. nope. That's yeah. So that's that. Like. Mm -mm. and then the other question i felt like well, well he the person did warn me you know um first of all it was a two-person interview which I, I don't like those like I, I really don't i hate those like so much you let me know do you do you like those like three like two three panel interviews or do you like like a one-on-one -on -one? because it was like a a two two-person panel interview and i really do not like those but it is what it is um but anyway so i had that and then one of the other questions, he did warn me though. He was like, hey, like, I'm gonna put you on the spot a little bit. But pr prior to that, I had told him, I don't have experience in this area, but I would love to learn and get more knowledge on it and definitely, you know, advance into that role. So he still went ahead and asked a question and put definitely put me on the spot on something I just told him that I don't have experience in. So like, how did you expect me to answer that question? And I tried to answer it, but I was for me, I wasn't even getting the question. I'm like, can you explain it? Because it doesn't make sense. Like if I don't have experience in something and I have already like told you that, why would you do that? <laughs> like at that point, I was just like, hmm. I was like, you tried it. Like you really did try it because you know I just told you I don't have experience in that. But anyway, so I just, that interview was, it was okay, but we'll see. It's in the hands of God, so it's not even in the hands of the interviewers. It ultimately comes down to what God has for me, and that's that. So we'll see. You know, they told me that I won't hear, and I will hear about it in a week or two, but who knows? Who knows? I'm, I'm, I'm not really... I'm not expecting anything like it is what it is again like I said I'm leaving it in God's hands and it is what it is so that's my little spill thank you again for tuning in and thank you so much please don't forget to like subscribe and comment below let me know the most like I don't know on the spot interview questions that you have received um let, yeah let's talk about it thank you so much for tuning in